Father, we appreciate you and we thank you. Tumekiri kutoka kilindini cha moyo wetu kuwa hakuna jambo gumu usilo liweza. Na asubuhi ya leo tumekusanyika mali hapa ili tukaweze kulisikiliza neno lako. Sisi sote tumekuja mali hapa baba ili kupata na tumekuja na matarajio ili ukaweze kutuwerekebisha ukaweze kutufinyanga na utufanye jinsi wewe utakavyo sisi tuwe na haya yote yanawezekana kupitia kwa mapenzi yako na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tukimwabudu Mungu amen amen let's appreciate the praise and worship team Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Can I get a wave? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One of the interesting interesting thing is that this week I was with my wife somewhere in town and we saw a sister and the sister really shouted and say Bwana asifiwe. And then for us because we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, we said amen. So she was on the other side of the road. So we had to people now started looking around. Kwani kuna crusade? No, it was just greetings. Amen. And how I pray this week I'll get someone like Mrs. Cairo. And I will shout praise the Lord Mrs. Cairo. Hapo ndo utajua kama mtu waga ameokoka paka huko nje. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kindly turn to your neighbor. Na umwambie karibu katika ibada ya pili. Amen. Today it will be a little bit challenging. And that's the truth. Today we are going to <coughs> talk. I'm going to share God's word. I didn't say this one in the first service but I'll say it in this second service. Um, and all of us we remember those ones who are here and those ones who are who join us online last Sunday when bishop said he will he will not be in this service today. So I looked at Pastor Nguru and we looked at each other. So the ball was either going to drop on him or me. And that is the truth standing here and share God's word it is not for granted that is number one thing number two thing uh, god had, god god gave me the message from last sunday and uh, throughout this week i've been praying so that he can use me to deliver his word nikimaliza see your story maisha this is second service and i'm so much blessed to bring God's word. And before I do that, I would like to also acknowledge uh, the fans and the supporters of Real Madrid. Sisi tulitoka mahali hapo. But we we also thank God for the Liverpool supporters. For those ones who are new in Jerusalem, I'm talking about football. There was a cham- uh, UEFA Champions League jana and some of us did not sleep. Uh, we wanted to see the match but we thank God. I'm a Chelsea fan and next season is our season. That's what you usually say. Eh, uh, umesikia watu wa Chelsea? Na bado nimeokoka, sije mkasema pastor haja okoka. Nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Even when Christ comes now, me I'll go to heaven. That one I'm very assured. Amen. And during this week I I I I went through a, a meme, a meme. And this meme ilikuwa inasema ilikuwa inasema easy pet as is ID siku hizi. Wale watu ambao wameoa ama wameolewa lazima wave uniform. In that juncture I would like to introduce my beautiful wife, the one and only Pastor Daniel Kido. Uh, we, are, we are we are still together 
if there were some rumors somewhere, we are not. We are still together. I just social media in Mbaya. <laughs> we are still together and we bless the Lord in this year of expectation and hope. For us, we, expect, we are expecting. Amen. Wahenga, walisema, aliena macho ambiwi. Kwanzo minister Oli, vile time umetipatia kibaruo, ketawambia, you can jump for God. <laughs> I looked at my wife and said, oh, Jesus. And uh, that part was over, and we blessed the Lord. Amen. I would like us to read. And all this message, this message today, I'm, I'm connecting it with the word of the year, with what our Reverend Emily was sharing last Sunday about awakening, revival. Forgiving yourself is the key to personal revival. I did not say forgiving your neighbor. I said forgiving yourself is the key to personal revival. In the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 1 and to 5, this is what the Bible says. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause people to stumble are about are bound to come. But who to anyone through whom they come? It will be better for them to be thrown into the sea with a milestone tied around their neck than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. So, watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. If, or rather, even if they sin against you seven times in a day, and seven times comes back to say, I repent, you must forgive them. Allow me to repeat that one. Allow me to repeat that one. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day, Kumanisha, the day is not yet over. And seven times come, times come back to, to say, I repent. You must forgive them. The, the key word for me there is must. Kindly turn to your friend, Mumbai, must. You can spell that word, must. M-U-S-T, with capital letter, printed, bold, boo, imeko up. It's must. You must. If you are a Christian, you must forgive them. If you are a Christian, you must forgive them. If you are a true disciple of Jesus Christ, you must forgive them. The apostles say to the Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. Today's topic is about faith to forgive. I'm not going to talk about this kind of forgiveness of a lot of feelings, what they did to you, so you are taking time to forgive. Oh, walini hard sana for the last 10 years, for the last three months, you know, I've been in their mouth. No, I don't want to talk about that. And I'm talking about forgiveness that is connected to faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. And the only time that you make God to smile, it's when you apply your faith in your Christianity work. When you don't have cash in your pocket, you say, I am rich. It is it actually, they, they, those people who are educated and these ones who are not educated, or rather the Christians, there is where the difference comes in. That's why they say, Sisi ni wandazimu, but we are not. We believe in, as in, as in we, we have the faith in believing in things that we do not see things that we trust even if we don't them have i mean even if we don't them i mean we don't have them right now in faith in the spiritual realm we have them the apostle said to the lord increase our faith where is your faith of forgiveness how many people have betrayed you how many people have betrayed you where you are working from home 
from your family, family I talk of nuclear, extended, and then goes like that. Your uncles, your aunties. <clears throat> Who betrayed you as an individual? Who lied to you? Or rather, who lied about you? The kind of friends that you have, probably one minute they are here with you talking nicely, another minute they talk negative about you. Who are those people who betrayed you? And this is God's word that is coming so clearly. The difference in this Bible is we are all Christians. And that's, wh that's why you had a reason as to why you should come to church. But there's a very big difference between carrying your Bible to come to church with it. And there's another big difference between open your Bible and read. And there's another very big difference between applying what you have read from your Bible. And there's also another very big difference when you read the Bible in church and when you read the Bible at your place. Those are all differences. But how do you grow in this faith of forgiveness? Who mistreated you or took advantage of you? It could be your roommate in a campus. It could be a parent or a boss who you simply wanted to please, who betrayed your trust completely, someone who handled you inappropriately, someone that you trusted and you say, today I'm going to tell this person all what I'm going through. But the next minute, everything has been splitted out. It's there in the public. But what does the Bible tell us? That's why I say that it is forgiveness, forgiving yourself. I'm not talking about other people. I'm talking about you who is listening to this message. If you forgive yourself, then there will be a very great room of revival in your life. How do you forgive if they still do things which are unforgivable. What does the Bible say? The Bible says in Luke 17, it says in verse 4, even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. The key word is for, must forgive them. Mchungaji, you don't know the kind of pain I've been. You don't know the kind of pain these people have caused me. You don't know. I'm talking about faith to forgive. There is no choice, but it is a command that we have to forgive. For you to grow in the work of Christianity, Things will never be easy, and that's the truth of the matter. And whoever I get chance and time to share God's word with them before they give their life to Christ, I usually tell them, now you have entered in another world, and this world is very challenging, full of challenges. But there is one who was left behind to help us and to comfort us. Sometimes it is very hard for us to forgive and that's the truth of the matter very very hard to forgive sometimes you tend to forgive someone that you see him or her daily in your schedules in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 43 to 44 the bible says you have heard that it was said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i tell you Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. By show of hands, in our hearts, don't raise your physical hand. How many of us love their enemy? Amen. By show of our physical hands, how many of us love our neighbors? <laughs> the people that they help us. The people that whenever we call them, Hey, Nyaje, the guy sorts you out. 
We are so many, and that's the truth. And then by the end of the day, we call ourselves Christians. Yes, we are Christians. But do we apply what the Bible tells us? You have heard that it was said, in those days, love your neighbor. Yes, and hate your enemy. But Christ came with this other version, says, but I tell you, my brother, my sister, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Pray for them. Pray for them. Mention them in your, in your prayer. As I was growing in the, in, the, in the ministry work where I used to serve, uh, there was a pastor who was told uh, some, some things about me which were not true. <laughs> and there was this great passion towards me of hating me because of the things that I was doing. But I used to pray. I used to pray. So after the hate and everything, I, I, I tell Nilisawi is scripture. Humanly. So I started also hating the pastor. I never used to pray. I never used to go to church. And I, I was a pastor that time. I never used to attend midweek services because I had allowed, I had opened a door of, of hatred in me. Because if you talk bad about me, how can I pray for you? If you talk bad about me, how can I love you? You are not my friend. And uh, days went, and one time I was in, I was in YouTube. I, 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 I listened to Bishop T.D. Jack's sermon about forgiveness. Uh, there is no breakthrough. You will not, your prayers cannot be heard anywhere when you don't forgive. And I said, what? And I was told, yes. Your prayers cannot be forgiven. I mean, cannot be heard by God. I said, oh. So I had to forgive him. By fire, by force. It was not my choice. It was a command from the word of God. And it, it came so clearly that I started praying for him. I started mentioning him. I started blessing him. The one that persecutes you. You mention by name. And you speak blessing. I speak blessing to his wife. I speak blessings to his family. I speak blessing to his children. And his children are doing so well. And they are all alive. And it is, it is, it is expected of us all here that it reaches a point in life that you cannot, you cannot say, I love my enemy. But... I'm here today to give you a good news. And the good news is we must forgive them. It is not a request. It is a command. We must forgive them. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13 and 14, the Bible says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Wangapi wa meshkilia graje zapa, yo graje yako na inakufanya, you are not expecting this here. While some of us are, some of us are, are actually expecting, the year of expectation and hope, it is that simple. As in, unachilia, unasame, unabarikiwa. Ukishikilia, pia baraka yako inashikiliwa mahali. We are in the times of revival, whereby revival cannot take place in your life until you forgive. It is called faith to forgive. You don't forgive because of your feelings. You keep your feelings aside. No, not even aside. You keep your feelings with you. And then you forgive by fire, by force. Because that is what we are recommended to do. That is what we have been directed to do. If you forgive others, well, unaenda mbele ya mungu. Oh, baba mungu naombo ni same. And then hapa kuna mtu oja same. Wacha uongo, tusudanganyani wa kristo. You are, you, you will not be forgiven. Until you deal with your, that's what the Bible says. You cannot say, I love God and I hate my sister here. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo kwenye hii dunia. God will never accept that one. 
You talk so well about God. Oh, yes, unibana, madhani, agosho, hallelujah, jina la bana, lipewe sifa. And you go on, you know, with those Christian cliché. And then you come. You hate this one. Ah, it will never work. Utabaki, I have, me, personally, I've heard of people. Yeah, I am over 20 years in this work of Christianity. So what? With a grudge. Come on. You need to put it aside. Ile complete. You say, I'm working with faith. You can be saved for over 50 years. Me, I have no problem. Me, I have no problem with that. But I have an issue today to say to you, if you cannot forgive, you will not be forgiven. And that's a clear one. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. The Bible says, Be kind and compassionate to one another. I love this part. Forgiving each other just as Christ, just as in Christ God forgave you. Hey, be compassionate. To one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ, just as in Christ, God forgave you. You do not have a right to hold a grudge. You do not have a right not to forgive someone. As a Christian, you do not have a right. Unajua lo to kupigia kelele uko barabarani? Sometimes, aki ye tu, auna aki, apo auna aki. It is a must to forgive. Hakuna sorry, hakuna sorry nyingine. Sorry nyingine utapeleka kwingine. But hapa according to this one, the word of God, it is a must to forgive. And revival will only come when you forgive one another. Imagine you cannot forgive your sister or rather your brother, but you want Christ to forgive you. You are the same, same person ambo leka Christ kwenye cross because of our transgression. And out of your ego that you keep on massaging each and every day, you say, no, I can't forgive. And then you call yourself a Christian. Mimi ni mkristo. Uwe ni mkristo wa inagani, ndugi yangu, dadangu. Hakuna ukristo hapo. A disciple of Christ is the one who follows the word of God. And uh, the truth is, sometimes it is hard, but we have to go that way. It says, for those who persecute you, kwa wala mbo wana kutenga, wala mbo wana kusemanga, wala mbo wana, ku, wana kufinyile ya kama kule ya huko, those are the people you must forgive. And I keep on using this word, must forgive. Your brother sinned against you seven times. If he comes back, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hiyo ni abili. I'm sorry. Ah, ya tatu waga tunasema nini? Ah, we wacha kunizoea. Eh. Nita. <laughs> and then utunachia hapo. Wacha kunizoea. And that's the truth. Mimi again nafikisha ya tatu. Mara nyingi. Siju kwa nini watu waga napena kutumia hizi tatu. Everything. I'm giving you the last warning. And that is the third warning. Eh. Ati, leo umekuja umesema ni kusamee kesho, ni kusamee kesho. Ah, no, 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 no. But Christ is telling us and is reminding us here. He says, even if they sin against you seven times in a day. Hallelujah. I did not mention a month. I said in a day, they come to you and they sin against you. You must forgive them. And this forgiveness, it will not come automatically. This forgiveness is connected to the faith of Christ. He forgiveness. And I'm saying it with a lot of love and passion. If there is no blessing, or rather there is no breakthrough for you, it's because you hold someone in your heart like this. Ume mfunga kabisa ani. Unaangalia mtu ila hivi unasema, hmm. Lakini because the, 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 the surrounding commands us to smile, we smile. <laughs> but when you are there in the dark place, you hold that person ila hivi. It's not allowed. God tells us clearly to forgive. And we must forgive. What forgiveness is not. Forgiveness 
is not forgetting. Nimesikia kuna watu walisema ama nishaisikia hata mimi mtu akisema forgive and forget. <laughs> if if I'm here today I wrong you. And then I come and say sorry. And then tomorrow we come to church again. <laughs> to be very honest, how many will have forgotten? <laughs> we are all human beings. We don't forget. Most of the time we don't forget. But that pain that was caused at that time is the one that needs to go away. Allow me to share my, uh, my small um, testimony. You remember there was a time in Kenya there was... There was um, there was um, in Etwanini, Kenya for Ka- drought. Yes, thank you, Elder. There was drought, and uh, we went to Turukana, upper Ju. Um, so when we went to Turukana, we went with a certain organization. We went to Turukana, and our lorry, ile koko ina chakula, it was behind. So tulienda tukafika. Uh, we had a, a night there, and during that night, I mean, I remember in that same night, it rained so heavily, and there was drought, and it was in Turukana. So when it rained so heavily, um, most of us did not wake up early, you know, people are still in their duvets and all that. But the driver with the lorry, yo maf- yo lorry koko emesha mafuta, so they called the director, and then the director uh, was told what was happening that there was no more fuel for the car so we needed to get a fuel from the town in Turukana and take it about 40 kilometers where they were they had stopped there because of shortage so the director asked each and every one of us we were, we were a very big group of people uh, probably 20 people and everyone did not want to go so what happened I said I will go with the driver. So this driver was a Turukana guy. Uh, I've forgotten his name, but I know it. It's a, it's a Turukana name. Uh, so we went with this guy, but he was driving very, very fast. Very, very fast. And I told him, hey, bro, punguza speed, because barabara iko poa, avu opio koju. And the first thing he told me is, I have been driving for seven years so we relax so jele mean me relax lakini macho ayana pazia so nikamwambia jena bro lakini wenda mbio hapa ama twadanganyana si hapa wenda mbio angambia wewe nimekwambia nyamaza i've been driving for seven years so we relax so i relaxed tukaenda tukafika tukawekea mafuta gari tukaanza kurudi nao so when you are coming back this guy was still driving on a high speed. So I told him, Tumwekea mafuta wako nyuma yetu na ni lorry na imebeba chakula so they are going slowly. So twende pia sisi pole pole si tushafika tushamaliza mission. Akasema wewe rila? I've been driving for 7 years. You know those type of Christians, they will tell you I've been in the ministry for 10. Ah, uh, we relax. So I'm very relaxed. I usually give people time and space. So I relaxed. So tukaendelea with a very high speed. And mi nilikuwa nimeketi hapa next na yeye, it was a land cruiser. Na nakumbuka nilikuwa nimeweka kisambusa kidogo. So, you know, most of the time ukipatiwa lift, mi aga nikipatiwa lift aga napenda kuweka kisambusa. At least somebody can say it's my car, kitu kama hiyo. You know those things. So nikaweka kisambusa hapo. But the, the guy is driving the car very fast. So tukaenda guess what? Tuli hit a pothole. And the next thing was the car. Ili roll. Marangapi maratatu. So the car went like one, two, three. I was very young at that time. And um, I had uh, the spirit in me telling me, you cannot die now. That is the spirit. So the car went like pa, pa, pa. Migui kakua ju. Sisi tukochini. Sema movie. I love action movies. My wife can testify that. Me, I love action movies. Nani mokoka? But I just love action. So because of the many actions movie I've seen, eh? So nikona niko pale chini. So the next minute was he got it alepuka. So what did I do? Nili took a very fast through the window. Nikaji skuma paka uko. But my kisambusa thing, eh? My I had I have a mark, a very big mark. This one. 
Hii sambusa ilishika chini ya mchanga because the road was not tarmac. So it was really really not good. It was very painful and I remember when lying down there we saw some Turukana men coming from Ukombali. They were very small like ants. I saw them coming. So me nilikuwa huko dereva pia akakuwa mjanja akatoka. You know he has been driving for 7 years. Don't forget. 7 years he has been driving. So these other ones they came wakazima engine so that ile mafuta yako na teremka pale sijui si lepuke and all that story. So guess what happened? After we finished that I mean nilipeleka hospitali nikatibiwa. So my friends were telling me, "Eh, hapa maze lazima uchaji mtu pesa hapa." Tumetoka tushukana, tumekuja kulisha watu lakini wewe pia utarudi na pe? Na pesa. Eh, sisi ni nani? So at night the following day I was supposed to go and write to you easy to the police or be and all that stuff. But at night I heard God telling me so clearly, forgive him. And that is how it went. But I remember the nikamuita kando nikamwambia I know you are my elder. Uh, I respect you, but don't forget there was a time I told you to drive the couple Apollo kasema this you may drive for 7 years. But I choose to forgive you. At kwenda police na hizo story nyingi zilisha tu hapo. So my forgiveness is not forgetting. Me, I will tell you, even today I've never forgotten about this mark. The pain I have. But this mark, I will never. Na misi ili mtuwa plastic surgery, hata mungu wa kinbariki na billions. I will never do plastic surgery, hati nisao, hati no. So it is not saying you wipe your memories. You will never wipe your memories. Never. But that faith to forgive helps you to say, I can do better. Christ died for me. I am the one who caused Christ to be on that cross, so I need to forgive. Forgiveness is not fair, and it will never be fair. Mtu wame kukosea 100%, you have got all the rights. That's what we're going to say kotini. You have got all the rights, but here I'm talking about you being a Christian. We are called to forgive. What is forgiveness now? Forgiveness is giving to others what God gave us in Christ. That is forgiveness. If Christ forgave you, the sinful you, let me call you, the, the sinful you, Christ forgave you, then you need, to, you need to extend that grace to another person. If you cannot extend that grace, then you are not a Christian. Offer to other people the same grace God offered to you and me. In the book of Psalms 103 from verse 10, the Bible says, He does not treat us as our sins deserve, deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. My sister, my brother, just imagine, Sai. If God will have repay you according to your iniquities, yours, not ours, no, your iniquities, zile vitu wago nafanya against his will. Ungelikuwa hapa leo. Me personally, I could not be here. Me personally. But because of this, God has helped me to have a, the, 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 faith of, the faith to forgive. The, the, the flow in me comes out. Not because I'm a perfect person. We are not here for perfect people. And uh, I, I, I wish I'd said that one earlier on. We are here with people that have come to put things right with God. We are all Christians. We stumble in one way or another in our daily walk with Christ. But Christ is calling us, telling us, Hey, listen, you have been asking yourself, I, in this year of expectation and hope, Bishop Akiwapa, Rave, Pastor Nguru, Pastor Joyce, Pastor Daniel, wana ubiri na kuambia, wana ubiri, washanga kuna mtu kule, Amen! Wea hata kusema, Amen, I talk, it doesn't come out. There is no breakthrough, not because of sujui nini, you are, holding, you are holding things that cannot penetrate in the spiritual realm. And then ukitoka hapa, unasema, Leo ibada ilikuwa normal. Ah, nani alikwambia it wasn't normal. It was not a normal service at all. The Bible continues and says in verse 11, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Hey. 
as the heavens above the earth. Mimi ukiniuliza how many kilometers I don't know but najua ni mbali. The sky and the earth ni huko mbali sana. Si kutoka hapa paka Kericho? No. Si kutoka hapa paka Mombasa? No. Ni mbali, yani ni mbali huko hapa ni mbali. That's what the Bible says. For as the heavens are above the earth so great is his love for those who fear him. And in this fear we are talking about or rather mentioning here is the fear that it will help you to walk as a Christian and according to God's word. And I will tell you for free it is very hard to forgive. Forgiveness should flow from you. It should just flow. It won't take one day, two days, one month, one year, but if you are ready to accept the hard way because most of the time we say it is our right and that is where most of the time we go wrong as Christians. Most of the time we we end up being in cults because we want to do things our own way, our own ideology. This is the oh me so my bible leave me say forgive. Yes, but you say I will forgive but I'll not be I'll not be attending the service. I will forgive but there's a way I need our boss aeke a demarcation wall here so that we don't see each other. Atukimwona wasikia ro ah wewe okoka. Why will you why will God ask us to forgive? Kwa nini Mungu anataka sisi tusamehe? Number 1 or rather top reason is that God loves you so much that he helps you to heal the wound in you and sets you free. Forgiveness is not about the other person. Forgiveness is about you. You need to forgive in order to have a breakthrough and a revival in your life. In the book of 1 John, all of us we have sinned. But the Bible expects us and says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness all unrighteousness hata moja ile ivaita bakia all of them but if we confess mi nilienda sunday school i thank god in sunday school tukafundishwa how to pray you know training up a child in the way he should go by the time this child is old he will not depart from the ways of the lord So parents who are here it is very important very very important to take our children to Sunday school. So while in Sunday school in kafundishwa hiyo the prayer of acts A C T S the prayer of acts A was for adoration you have to adore God oh an excellent God mighty God everlasting father king of kings and then C is for wa Kristo wengine hapo kwa confession hapo wanaruka Ani after adoration wewe unaruka confession c unaenda kwa t t is thanksgiving oh mighty and everlasting god king of kings you are the lord alafu aruka c confession wakuja we thank you we bless you we honor you thank you for your faithfulness na wewe ni mkristo unaasa hii confession hapa you need to confess wewe nani wewe aga usin all of us here sin for in the book of Romans 3:23 see here for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God so every time you go every time you go before the lord please have that prayer of confession lord i confess to the sin that i have sinned knowing or unknowingly sometimes we sin but we do not know if we sin sometimes tunakwaza watu na hatujui that is sin we oh, know everything is perfect to you but we sin so the bible t- reminds us in first john that if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness let me tell you something about forgiveness Forgiveness is not easy. Now turn to your neighbor and ask him or her. Do you think forgiveness is easy? For, for me forgiving is easy. 
Ah, uh, uh, no, he see that look for a neighbor, ask him or uh, do you think forgiving is easy? Alafu akupatie jibu. Mimi sitaki hiyo jibu. Wengine wananiangalia, that neighbor next to you, not me. Oh, Memaliza. The answer was yes, no. <laughs> ah, let's be honest now. Neighbor Mesemanini, is it easy? No. And allow me to relate this one with, with my own testimony. There was a time in my Christianity walk when I was that young pastor somewhere there in Mombasa. And then a group of people, and Minko Naomba na Kwambi, Atakama can say Nam to me, Nayana can say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Kumbo Islam, who can you and ask you, Mabila Nakuja can say. And then there's a very group of other people, one of Kusanika and Sema, you pastor, no one de Voloship. Ah, Mimi, Missa Santa Kwaji de Voloship, Mimi. I only worship God, and I used to pray, and I continue praying, I'm telling you. And then to Nakuja and Kwambi, when de Voloship, and you see, they don't tell you direct, like when de Voloship, they don't tell you. What they do, they go to Kamukunji. They Kamukunji, they Kamukunji themselves there. And then later on, Dr. Kuskia na watu. Ah, si and Nani mimi? <laughs> As in faith to forgive. In Afrika mali unasikia vitu zimetajo kusu juu ya maisha yako. Instead of kukasirika unafanini. Unacheka because there is, the, the joy of the Lord is in you. As in unasikia ni kububujika tukila saa. You know, this woman of God, she's very faithful in the, in the work of the ministry. Very faithful. Because Just like Paul, you need Christ. And I went. Kuchapanana miss you come wali chapana uko. But me I told them you need Christ. And I went. I just think I got nazumza with boldness. Not because we really want. It's because when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. And you speak it boldly. I've been in salvation for 20 years. So what? As in, honestly. Honestly, so what? 20 years umefanya, umedu. Watu wangapi meleta kansani. Watu wangapi ambu mwa lead in the work of Christianity. Someone can be in salvation even for one year, but the things he or she is doing, they are pleasing the Lord. And these are the, called the things of faith. How many of us can put a smile on God's face? As in, oh, anyway, Mungu akikona and a smile too, and a skiatura, because of the things you are doing. You are actually depopulating the kingdom of enemy and populating the kingdom of God. Forgiveness is not easy. Easy is to hold a grudge Easy is not to talk to others who have wronged you. So easy. Easy is to let the devil to split your family. Easy is to remain bitter. Easy is, you see, forgiveness is not easy. But the easy part of that is those things. You can be bitter. You can choose to become bitter. Unakuja, bwana sifiere, unamaliza, but you are bitter. Things are not working for you, you are bitter. Easy is to hold a grudge. Angalia. And I gave a very good example here. We are in this political season, you know, everything is just hit up. Mr. Allow me to use Mr. Cairo, he's my father here. Mr. Cairo and Anambia, Ule Ruto, Usimpigi Kura, he's a land grabber. Na kuambia amiba mashamba, Ildorito, Ildorito, Yoti, Yo, Amiba, Mombasa, Pali, Chini, Pali, as in the way he explains. He mwenye haja mwona Ruto na macho. He comes to this other person. Raila is over 70. You talk evil about someone. You have never even have a breakfast with him on a table like this. Any a breakfast. And some of us will never even have with him. But you are talking evil about this person. So evil and then you are a Christian. And you even you don't have facts to substantiate and say who Raila is. You don't have because you don't know him. He was not born in your home village. And this is Raila. And this is Ruto. We need to pray for these leaders. Now, let's come back. We trickle down to Pastor Noah. Some of you, you have ne I've never even seen you on the street. 
but you know from A to Z about me. <laughs> and somebody talked about, I mean, about me to you. Uh, I'm here also to tell you, the same person who told you about me is the same person who is going to tell other people about you. So you need, you need, you need to be a Christian who follows God's word. Ushesikia mimi, nimemkachia olive because my sister here told me something about olive. That is not Christianity. Alafu kwa huyu ndo ampendi olive anamchukia but mimi kusahau mimi ameniambia yani mimi nina, nina double portion namchukia mara tatu yani yani nikimona olive tena naye ndo alinikosea mimi kumbe alikosea huyu huyu akaja akaniambia mimi so mimi kiona olive mimi hata sioni ajua she is the one who led us in praise and worship si ametulid vizuri wewe umekuja hapo mwangalia kwanza hiyo skirt hata it doesn't it doesn't bring a uh, shape sio ni nini even there was no anointing as in as in kuna viji mambo vidogo vidogo hivi sisi kama wakristo wafaa tuvitoe we work with faith and not feeling forgiveness it is so easy to let the devil to split our families easy to remain in bitter you are here you are married and you feel like no my spouse amenikosea one of the question in ulizwa why do you want to get married so you are tena when you want to get married kuna a lot of reasons you give i gave like over a thousand reasons and then kaambua are you ready to forgive because in marriage it's about forgiveness boss utalala hapo utalala hapo sura umekunja utaamka sura umekunja utaamka sura umekunja you will go to work umekunja sura marriage is about forgiveness Marriage is always made up of two good forgivers. Mmesikia divorces? Si tumezisikia. Hey, kama kama wangekuwa na wangekuwa na room ya kusameana, hakungekuwa na divorce. And that is what we call true Christianity. And I know it is not easy, especially to the married people. It will never be easy, I'm telling you this one. The, but the Bible reminds us we must forgive. Hati mtu amekupikia chakula hapo ati hmm school cha kula yako nenda kula naivas so what utarudi hapo pesa zitaisha as i finish increase our faith to free to see freedom and walk in it this is what the disciples says after jesus told them everything he said increase our faith increase 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 it takes faith to forgive let's rise on our feet It takes faith to forgive. I want you to look for one person. One person. Just look for one person. Look for a neighbor. Yes, look for one person and pray with that person. You can share whatever you want to share with. I don't know what you want to share. Just pray with that person. You can pray to have and increase in faith so that you can have faith to forgive just pray with that person i don't know which person you have has ever wronged you it's not about that person who is not here in this church today i'm talking about you yes you need the faith to forgive na kisha kuambia hiyo 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 issue just just start praying as we surrender it all to christ we surrender it all to jesus We surrender it all to Jesus. Just pray with that person. Most of us sometimes we will expect to say, "Oh, pastor is there, I will pray." Ah, my friend, me I'm giving you assignment today. We are all called in the kingdom of God to be to be ministers of the word of God. I want you to pray with that person. Please, if you don't have anyone, find someone. If there is no one, at least get three people. Yes. Just pray with that person in Jesus name. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you because there is no one else like you. We give you all the praise because Lord, you have called us as your children, as your sons and daughter. Father, may you forgive us, O King of Kings. But before even we utter the word, may you forgive us. Father, may you help us, Lord, to forgive those ones who have wronged us. And Father, we have learned today it's not a request, it's not a plea. But 
but it is a command that we need to forgive and to confess it all father it is very hard to forgive but so easy to hold a grudge so easy to live with bitterness so easy oh father to have our family being splitted because we cannot forgive but this hour oh lord we call you and we ask you lord may you increase our faith to forgive. May you increase our faith to forgive and help us to understand it's not about feelings but about faith because without faith it is impossible to please you. Father because we are in this work and we want to please you mighty God with each and every hand each and every brother and sister that we are standing in this gap for one another. May your name be glorified and may you be lifted up king of kings. Father we thank you for teaching us oh lord on the faith to forgive we bless your name as we speak blessing as we speak revival in the life of your sons and daughter in the mighty name of jesus we honor you and we glorify your name king of kings because there is no one else like you oh lord then we have a reason to put our hands together and appreciate the king of kings and the lord of lord for his love and faithfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's